Hello YouTube, it's Al here with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Underground and also reporting for Yeti Gaming Live. Um, really? what am I, what am I at? Huh? Like I, oh yeah, we're in Springfield, Illinois! For the runner up! Yeti Gaming Springfield. <laughs> Yeti Gaming Vince Springfield. Mother okay. Licka. <laughs> Focus on the profile. With second place finisher, one of our own. Larry, I, what's your last name? Jennings. Jennings, that's one of our right. Own. One of our own. One of our own. But I can't remember his last name. It's okay. At least you're not Jeff. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, <laughs> what did you play today? I played the hat deck. So I just played three morale tech. That's the only artifacts I played. I have no idea. Um, three of each hand. Because even though people play around them, they're still really, really good. Um, they just float around and then. Now, did you ever feel that three of both hands was too much? Um, I don't play that many monsters. If I could find different monsters, I'd probably just play two of each. Because there are a couple times today where I drew three ice hand in my opening hand, and then game three of the finals, I drew two of each hand, so that was pretty awful. But, nonetheless, I don't have any other monsters to play. Um, then I played the two Mermilo. Three. Three Mermilo, yeah. Um, because plus ones are good. Counting. You can do it. <laughs> um, and then two Dianea. I usually side out one, but they're really good in the main deck, I think. Um, two Maxi. Because everyone plays Soul Charge, and you're gonna get at least even on it. Um, and then I'm playing one DD Crow in the main deck because Soul Charge and just pretty much anything. I expected a lot of Light Swarm today, so I figured I could just at least get out of a name or a Dragon Roller. Oh man, we're gonna have to show them the secret side deck card. <laughs> um, Darn and it! Spells. Uh, I played one Dark Hole to get out of established boards without having to use hands. Uh, one Dichotomy in the main deck. I didn't play any other ones, but I usually side this out because of Banish removal, but it's pretty good in the main deck. Um, Book of Moon. This is Book of Moon. Uh, I play Mind Control because Jeff Percher. Um, it's just an out to the hands if you can exceed with them. It's an out to Gear Gear Armor. It's broken. Yeah, it's really hard to get out to get over Gear Gear Armor in this deck, and this just gets right around it. Everybody should main it. Jeff, don't tell everybody that. Except for Light Swarm players. <laughs> uh, Everyone. And then I play three duality to dig for pieces. Question. Why yes, did you elect to the um, common rare as opposed to the secret dualities? Well, <laughs> he didn't want to borrow my secret first heads, and he, he thought it would be humble, and he didn't want to draw them. If any of you guys have ever heard of rarity stacking, it's not real. <laughs> but if it were, really, I mean, my hands. You mean to tell together. me that someone on YouTube made a video that was a joke? Also, have you ever read this? It's a great story. Anyway, <laughs> um, Book of Moon, ten out of ten. Game of Thrones doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we're playing the traps. Uh, three Sanctum, because Card's it's okay. Really, really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. Now, because you're playing three of each, do you ever like draw, end up drawing dead Sanctums like um, game, or do you have ways to mitigate that? I mean, in the main deck, I have the Dichotomy, and then I play Emerald in oh. the side deck. I usually don't have a problem with it. Extra deck. So yes, extra deck. Have That's ways correct. To mitigate it in the late game. So yeah. Um, Mitigation. It's a fun word. Uh, the one bottomless to search out. Uh, I play two Nightmare. I usually side out one of them because people play around it a lot game two. I mean, really game one, but it's not bad. Uh, warning, Torrential, Compulse. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. So we're being selective and we're segregating cards from Duelist Revolution on their rarity. That's I correct. see how it is. That's correct. That's correct. I see. I mean, it's this, fine. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, the one call, because I don't want to draw a double call. Duelist for equal card rights. Um, <laughs> two breakthrough. Um, I just think it's good right now because you can negate the Trap Tricks monster, and then whenever they summon the artifact, you can just negate it. Um, oh, also it's an out to Majesty's Fiend, so that's cool. <laughs> Uh, Gosh, why would you even think Double about D that? prison, it's an out to hands. So, yeah. And then two wiretap. Because Yeah, I mean, this won me round four. Because I, I, I side another one and I just, just yeah. Alright. Into the extra side. I think they did extra first. Logically, the one that was on top to save the um, kinetic energy. Exiton, Diamond Dyer, Digusto. Um, Yay, rank fours. Yeah. 
Um, Harlan Draco won me several games today. It's too good. Um, 101, Dweller, Cowboy. Um, I beat a Chainburn player with Cowboy today, so that was cool. Uh, black Ship to make the hands miss time, or uh, yeah, so they don't summon. Um, I played this because it was really good against Light Sworn and just banished two names game one. Um, Ragna Zero, and then for rank fives, I play just Volcasaurus, Tyrus, and Ledes. Um, and then Gaia for Volcasaurus and M7 for Ledes. Have you ever mind controlled an opponent's Pleades and put your own M7 on top? No, but I have mind controlled the big level five, rank five Noble Knight guy and put Gaia on top of it. How satisfying was that on the scale from one to satisfying? Uh, nine. <laughs> so does that mean it's just below satisfying? Because that's the scale's throwing me off. Oh. <laughs> So I'm scared of Lightsworn, and the <laughs> Lightsworn suck structure deck just came out, so I was scared, I, and I, I played really Triple Kaiku. I joke before the camera died, but I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, so uh, whose idea was the, the Kaikus? Oh, that was Jeffrey Purchase. And what card destroys Kaiku? Um, nothing. Train signal red? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What the um, hell is that? I play two <laughs> Valor for going second. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's good against Medulce, too. <laughs> Um, two Vanities Fiend, I just like it, it's, uh, destroys um, Bujins um, and... That's, bad, a, that's a funny looking fiend. Vanities Fiend you got Bad there. Disease Fiend, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can tell. I was like, when did those come? Yeah, here? it's different. It's that's different. what I was gonna say. It's a different. Ah, we're criticizing your um, misnaming. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> main dead. MST, so there's three. Get it. Come on, guys, it's not even on the internet yet. Um, the one... You gotta get him prepared. For, for going internet. second. Oh, only one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for going second against Gear Gear. Um, then you play these for going first against Girgia. And then Wiretap is good against most things, so I play three of them total. <laughs> because... Except Lightsworn. Because NSA. Alright, so do you feel that Hat is going to retain its viability going into Nationals? Um, I would say it's still a deck that could be played. Alright, and now having played this deck, and achieving second place, at a notable tournament, at least by Tommy's standards. <laughs> like the would, same. would you make any? Facing the standards of decks off a deck that can be played. Let, let, let's let's analyze this. I'm, I'm gonna play um, Joey Wheeler and I'm gonna play the Wolf. I mean, that is a deck that can be played. It's like, hey, get off my smelly socks, that guy. And we're gonna play Time Wizard, and it's gonna be a deck that can indeed be played. <laughs> I'm gonna win nothing. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, anything, any shout outs you wanna make? Anything you wanna say about the deck? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Oh, well, you know, all in a day's work. How much are you paying him to say that? Undisclosed amount. Don't listen to Jeff, he's unoriginal. I don't want